Hey guys, Noah here today bringing you an Adobe After Effects tutorial on basically how to make flaming text. So, here's my quick time video of basically what we're going to have at the end. As you can see, I put some sparks in there. That's just because the people I made it for wanted to see some sparks. Alright, that's about it. It's a quick little five second video, but you guys get the point. So the first thing that we need to do this is to grab our little text and type what you want to make flame or what text you want to make flame. Yeah. So for now, I think we're just going to do T7F for triple seven films. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit S and scale it up. Okay, and now that we have that made, we're going to go in and make a new layer, make a solid, um, and make a black solid. Then we're going to go to our solid, hit T, and m turn down the opacity down a little bit, and then we're going to grab our masking tool, and we're just going to mask around this. Alright, last click in 3, 2, 1, click. Alright, now we have our mask done. And it's important to know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is just going to be on fire, so they won't notice if your mask isn't perfect. So, now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and bring the opacity up. You can delete this or just make it not visible. We'll just make it not visible, this layer. And we're going to go to Mode change from normal to add then we're going to go to our effects and presets and type in fractal noise alright now we'll grab fractal noise and bring it in here we're going to hit F and grab all these masks and then just bring up the feathering alright now that they're feathered out we're going to go to we're going to select our layer then go to effect color correction and curves. Alright, now that we're in curves, I like to bring my RGB up to make it a little brighter. And then just go to red. Bring up red. Go to green. Bring green up a little bit. And then go to blue and mess with blue. Basically, you just gotta mess with these until you think it looks a good fire fiery color that you'd like to do um, all right how does that look all right I think that's how we're gonna do it for now um hmm kind of seeming a little too white for me let's see it takes a lot of tweaking to get what you want there we go that's more red and then the blue there we go that's what I want alright so now that we have that we're gonna go up t here to evolution turn this on and drag this down a little bit basically as long as you want your flame thing to last we'll just make this actually this is pretty long we'll just make this 10 seconds long so drag it there and then mess with this wheel and it basically just messes with the evolution of your thing so it changes as it goes we're also gonna zoom out a little bit and drag this here alright cool so now that we have that done pretty much we're gonna just duplicate this layer 
go to effect or oh one more thing we're gonna do okay so we're gonna type into our effects and presets and type in glow then we're gonna drop glow in and mess with this a little bit glow radius intensity That's weird, this like isn't changing anything. <laughs> That's weird. It like stop changing stuff. That's really weird. Alright. Go to glow. Just mess with it basically until you think you found what you want. Alright, so that adds basically a glow. I turn this down all the way so that basically did nothing <laughs> um, you can also go up here and mess with this if you don't like how these two are working together um, yeah alright I think that looks pretty good it's kind of red kinda of too red so if I just alright that looks really good alright so now that we have that we're gonna grab this Oh, that's already copied. All right. So we, since we made a duplicate, we're gonna grab the one on the bottom, then go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and Gaussian Blur. So this is just gonna be more glowing for it, just to make it look like it's on fire. Um. All right. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Then we're just gonna. Hit T on it, mess with the opacity, maybe make it, also you can go to color correction, brightness and contrast, and turn up the brightness if you feel like it's not bright enough, there we go. Alright, cool. So now that we have that, we're going to go to our project, and we're going to grab our stock footage that we're using. For this, I'm just going to do this to the T, because it actually takes a pretty long time for to do this. So, let's just drop this in. We have the Turbulent. This is all from Video Copilot's Action Essentials, by the way. And we're going to bring this over here. I'm actually going to make this five seconds long, now that I think about it, because that's... It's a pretty long while for just to watch flames anyways. So now that we have there, we're just going to duplicate this on here and drag this there and then drag this there. And then we can use the same clip somewhere else and no one should be able to notice that it's the same fire clip because we have limited fire clips. Alright, also a good thing to do is to put these under it, and it pretty much matches the colors. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, you can tweak with it if you want, but it pretty much matches the colors together for the fire. Alright, put that there. So now you can just go ahead and grab a bunch of different stock footage elements, and I think for this one... We're going to turn it a little bit. You also got to make sure that the flame, where the wind's pushing it, I mean, it might be pushing it sideways, but try to make sure that's pushing it mostly up. Because <laughs> that's the way flames travel. Alright. Now we're going to duplicate this one also. And then drag it. I'm actually going to make this part pretty long. Alright, cool. I'm going to drag this one up a little bit. So we can have a good area right there to flame. Okay, now for our last one. We can actually just grab this out from here. Now that I think about it. So we duplicated it. Drag it over to the parts that you wouldn't be seeing anyways. So you can use that.
Alright. Oh, crap. Grab the wrong thing. Alright, now we'll grab this. And shape it up. We'll probably make this one pretty long since it's covering that wide area. Alright, cool. Now let's render this and see how it looks. It also takes a while to render, so... Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you render it for long enough. Otherwise, it'll do that weird thing. Since it's repeating itself, it looks super weird. All right, let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's not long enough. All right, keep going. <laughs> All right, guys, it finally got done rendering. That took a while, but. Here it is right now rendered. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It makes these look really funky just because they're being evolutionized or evolutioned super quickly. But that's pretty much what it looks like after you do it. It kind of looks weird with these next to it because you can see what's actually going on underneath the flames. But trust me, it looks pretty good. So, thanks for coming, guys. If you have any questions about this or need some help with it, just hit me up on the comments or whatever. Yeah, thanks.